Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is John Brenneman. Uh, if you haven't attended a webinar with us before, I am the president here at BOA Vacations. Uh, glad that you take a little bit of time out of your afternoon today to join us. Um, real quick, I'm going to talk for just a couple of minutes uh, about MOA Vacations uh, and what sets us apart uh, for those who haven't been to a webinar before. Uh, then I'm going to hand it over to Sonia, uh, who's going to talk about Viking, uh, Viking Ocean, Viking River, uh, Viking Expedition. Uh, and then we're going to end up, we have uh, some group departures, which is your opportunity to uh, sail with your fellow MOA members. We're going to go through those as well. Uh, and then we end up with a Q&A. Uh, if you look at your screen, if you put your mouse uh, kind of at the bottom, you'll see something that uh, that pops up. It's uh, kind of next, uh, kind of towards the left there in the middle, it says chat. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and put them in chat at any time. Um, we may or may not be able to answer them during the presentation. A lot of times I try to get to them uh, while Sonia is talking. Uh, but for sure, if you have any questions uh, at the end of uh, Sonia's presentation, uh, we'll go through and answer all those questions for you. Um, like we always do, we are taping this presentation. Um, and so uh, tomorrow, uh, you'll receive an email that will have a copy of this presentation in it. Uh, I always tell people if there's something um, that you see or hear during the presentation that you want to go back and revisit, or share with other people if you just make note of the time. Uh, since we started right on the hour, uh, the webinar is going to last right about one hour. Um, so let's say it's 40 minutes through the presentation. Uh, that way it's going to help you be able to find it if you make a quick note and say, oh, around the 41st minute, John or Sonia said this. And then when you get the tape, of course, you're welcome to watch the 40 <laughs> minutes prior to that. But then you can just fast forward to that point to see it again. Um, speaking of sharing the video, um, what we do with any MOA uh, trip that you book, cruise tour, whatever it is, you're always welcome to bring uh, friends and family along with you. Um, we're here to make your uh, trip or your vacation as enjoyable as possible. Uh, if it would be more enjoyable if you had friends uh, or family members come with you, absolutely do that. Um, but, and that, that goes to the MOA groups as well. Uh, so when you see these MOA group departures, um, they are, uh, the groups are from MOA members and their friends and family. So um, almost every group we do, in fact, I can't think of one of them where at least one or two people haven't brought friends and family along on a group. So um, feel free to share the video with them as well. Um, I wanted to talk real quick about MOA vacations. I know that we, we saw a quick glimpse of the slide, um, but for those of you who aren't familiar, we are uh, MOA's official travel agency. Um, and one of the things that we do that is unique is that kind of the first box is superior service. And why do we say that? Because we are the only travel agency in the entire United States that offers travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. And that's as simple as it sounds. If you book a trip for us and you have any issues or whatever, we will resolve that problem to your satisfaction. I actually personally handle most of the problem resolutions from our members. So if you have a problem and you talk to your consultant uh, in 95 plus percent of the cases, unless it's an easy fix that they can handle on their own, uh, you and I will talk and you and I will resolve that problem. Uh, the second one, lowest price. Um, as you can imagine, nobody would be satisfied if they paid too much. So this is kind of a little bit redundant, but people like hearing us say that we guarantee you the lowest price. Uh, free amenities. Uh, this is a program we have with a number of the cruise lines and tour companies we work with. Um, this is like a value added benefit. So it actually increases your value um, above and beyond that lowest price. And then uh, the last little box is the opportunity to travel with your fellow MOA members um, mm -hmm. from across the country. Um, you can have a group in your chapter or your state or just friends that you have uh, that can set their own group together or as we're going to talk about a little bit later today, actual group departures that we've put together and is your opportunity um, to sail with uh, fellow MOA members. And I'm going to tell you, everybody who goes on these groups just loves it. Um, it's an opportunity to share the experience uh, with what I like to call uh, your fellow MOA members or just friends you haven't met yet. Uh, if you're traveling with MOA members you don't know, uh, know because of your shared affinity, 
Um, people bond really quickly uh, when they go on these group departures. And in fact, we have people that meet on one group and then continue to travel together in, in additional groups going forward. So um, once again, just remind everybody, we're going to tape this, give everybody a tape. Uh, you can bring friends and family. Uh, and if you have any questions, drop them in that Q&A. Just wanted to run over that real quick. It looked like a few people uh, had popped in since I started. Uh, but without any further ado, um, mm -hmm. we're very uh, pleased that Sonia is taking time out of her day today to uh, meet with us. So Sonia is going to talk to us about biking and everywhere they go in the world. So Sonia, Great. take it away. Thanks, John. I really appreciate the opportunity to talk to the Moab Health folks. And I know you take great care of them. I hear that all the time. So we're really excited today, uh, folks, to share some great information about the wonderful company I work for, Viking. Uh, we are very destination focused and we're all about customer service, making sure you have a wonderful, beautiful vacation. I'm the business development manager for John's area. I handle Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri. And uh, it's just a real pleasure to be with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I just wanted to point out some of the differences in our ships. Uh, we do have 86 Viking long ships. These are really kind of how we started at Viking 25 years ago. We just had a birthday about four weeks ago. And in 1997, we started with these beautiful long ships. Uh, they have four decks, only 190 passengers, which makes them really special because you're really getting to know everyone, like John said, in a very quick amount of time when you only have 190 guests. And then we have our beautiful Viking Ocean ships, which we just brought on board a few years ago. Um, and again, this is very small ship uh, cruising, 930 guests with eight decks. So again, it's not anything like a mega ship at all. It's definitely going to be uh, smaller in, in size as far as the, the folks, but abundance of great activities and things for you to do on our Viking Ocean. And then we have our brand new Viking Mississippi ship that actually just launched a few weeks ago. We did have a little drought situation in St. Louis, so we had to go into Alton, Illinois. So you may have seen that maybe on the news, um, but now we're all, we've gotten plenty of rain lately, so that's been good. Um, but our beautiful Viking Mississippi ship, of course, is doing our holiday tours this year, and it is brand new. So you know, all of our ships are really decked out for Christmas and they're just beautiful this time of the year. And then our two brand new ships that we just launched in January was the Viking Expedition ships. One is called the Polaris, which means North Star, and the other one is the Octonus, which is the South Star. And I really kind of look at these as almost like your own private yacht. So, you know, again, very small amount of people on these, and it goes down to Antarctica. So you can visit for 13 days the beautiful Antarctica area with uh, expeditions and uh, scientists along with you, really educating you about the destination. And then when we're not doing the uh, Antarctica area, when that ends the end of February, we actually bring these two beautiful yachts up to the, um, the Great Lakes in North America. So if you're not wanting to go too far away and you wanna do something closer to home, I highly recommend you look at our Great Lakes product and I'll share more with you today about that. So currently Viking is doing all seven continents, which is wonderful. Uh, we have 95 countries we visit, 403 ports. Our newest port is the one on the Seine River by Paris and has a great vantage point for you to be on our sun deck and get the great views of the blinking Eiffel Tower. People are getting some amazing pictures from our sun deck on that brand new port on the Seine. We also are in five oceans. So of course our ocean cruises um, are just absolutely beautiful. I especially love the Mediterranean ones. We have 20 rivers that we do, uh, do on our long ships. And then we have our five, five great lakes, which is brand spanking new. So we don't pretend to be everything to all people. Um, one of the main things I like to make sure that you know is that we do not take children on our trips. You have to be at least 18 to travel with Viking. 
Uh, we're very destination focused company. So we really are about the destinations that we're going to. When you go into a port like Vienna, you'll have a great local included guided tour of the area by a local person. And so it's really um, to your advantage to visit our library on each one of our ships and you can kind of get acclimated and see some of the different areas that you're going to be visiting because all of our ports we have great books on those we also are a very highly inclusive product if any of you've ever done mexico or the caribbean uh, these are of course very much known for being all inclusive with a lot of the hotel chains and viking has really knows that's important to people so we really have taken that concept to the cruise market and so I think you'll find it's very, um, you know, a lot of things are included where a lot of other companies, you wouldn't have those things included. Uh, we very much are understated elegance. I think our Scandinavian designers do a great job with all of the uh, decorating. It's just beautiful, tans, ivories, creams. Uh, we have beautiful Finland furs on our homeland. Uh, product and you'll find a lot of open light filled spaces again we are really into the art and literature and history in our libraries and most important relaxation we want you to really enjoy your vacation and have a relaxing experience so let's tell you a little bit about what's included with all of our cruises no matter if you're on ocean or mississippi or our long ships we do include one shore excursion uh, for each person, and that's going to be in the destination when you get there. So if you uh, arrive in Paris, of course, you're going to have a wonderful uh, shore excursion, seeing some of the beautiful iconic landmarks of Paris. We include a quiet box, which is sort of like a radio that's around your neck and you have an earpiece that goes in your ear. And that really helps you to be able to not have to be on top of the local guide, but still have that great experience listening and getting all the great details. All of your onboard meals are included. So we do have uh, wonderful restaurants on our long ships. We have the Aquavit Terrace, and then we have our main dining room, and there's no reservations required for those. When you're on our other ships, including Ocean and Mississippi and Expedition, we do have specialty restaurants uh, like Manfredi's or the Chef's Table. You will need a reservation for those, but everybody has uh, lots of chances to get a reservation. You can do that right at the front desk if you don't do it ahead of time. So people love our specialty restaurants and there's no upcharge to use any of those restaurants. We just want you to experience great dining, whether you're in our main dining room or in our uh, specialty restaurants. We also include wine, beer, and soft drinks with all of our lunches and dinners, and that, that is unlimited. I've seen people take, you know, very leisurely dinners and, you know, have a couple bottles of wine uh, between them. So definitely you'll get to experience some wonderful regional wines, some great local beers, and soft drinks are included. And depending on your stateroom category, you would have some of these items in the refrigerator in your stateroom. It just depends on which category you're uh, booking. We always include bottled water in all of your staterooms. And we also include that when you go out and actually do uh, excursion with us. So we wanna keep you nice and hydrated for you know, walking around and that kind of thing. If you do plan to bring wine on board, maybe you bought a bottle of wine while you were out sightseeing, we will take care of that for you and there's no corkage fee. So our staff will be happy to, to help you with that. We have a great specialty coffee and tea station that sits right outside of our lounge and it's available 24 hours a day. So if you get up in the middle of the night and you just can't sleep and you think maybe a nice glass, a cup of hot tea would help, uh, you can go upstairs or downstairs, of course, and have some hot tea. We always have scones there and cookies and things like that as well. Uh, Wi-Fi is included in all of our uh, ships. You don't have to worry about paying extra for that. And we really have done a great job with making sure we have some of the best Wi-Fi while you're cruising. So you don't need to worry about, am I going to be able to stay in touch with my family or my friends? Of course you will. It works perfectly from your stateroom, the dining room, the lounge. Of course, the closer to the ports that we are, it's 
even better uh, reception. It may not be as good when you're in the middle of the ocean, but uh, you always have lots of chances during the day to get fantastic Wi-Fi on our ships. And again, no charge for that. Uh, we don't charge for our spas on our ocean uh, liners either. If you want to go in the spa and use the uh, pools or some of the saunas, there's no charge. Only if you would want to do some type of service like a facial or perhaps a massage. Um, but our spas are always free to our guests as well. And all the port charges and government taxes are included. So when you get a price from us, you know, it's going to have your airfare, your transfers. It's going to have everything in there. And of course, all these things that I just talked about. Um, so really, it's a great way to travel because you don't have a lot of things extra that you do have to pay for. I like to talk about three of really, really our most popular bread and butter type tours that we have at Viking. Uh, at one time, we will have 20 ships on the Rhine and 20 ships on the Danube. So it's very popular for us, especially for folks that have never been maybe on a European cruise or a river cruise. It's a great way to go to what I consider some of the best rivers that we offer in this area, the Rhine or the Rhone and the Danube. So these are eight day trips and uh, the Rhone or the Rhine actually starts in Amsterdam and goes all the way down to Basel, Switzerland. So you're seeing some beautiful sights all throughout Germany. I love Germany because they offer so much great history, you know, with World War II, visiting beautiful cities like Cologne and Rudensheim and of course Heidelberg Castle, which has one of the most beautiful and biggest um, wine barrels in the world. And then you're ending up in Basel, Switzerland, and we usually fly home, of course, from Zurich. So I highly recommend maybe talking to John and his staff about doing pre and post on these because you'll have some time maybe to do some, you know, fondue restaurants. And I love the Lent chocolate factory outside of Basel, Switzerland. That's always fun to do. So definitely talk to the agents about maybe going into Amsterdam a couple of days early or staying on a little longer in Switzerland. Now, I just did the Romantic Danube in June, and it was fantastic. We actually, I did it from Budapest up to Regensburg, Germany, and I love this river. I, I just think it's wonderful because it has some really iconic uh, great ports, including Vienna and Passau and Krems. And you can even go up to Prague as an extension if you want from this itinerary. Of course, Vienna is known for those wonderful concerts, Mozart and Strauss concerts that you can do at night. And there is a, a time for you that you could sign up for that. It's an extra excursion that you can pay for to do a concert. Um, and then, of course, I want to remind you that, you know, Hungary is known for paprika. So we'll always have some great regional food on our menu tonight, as well as our regular menu. Uh, it might be like paprika chicken and maybe goulash soup with a Hungarian type dessert. So it's really great. Um, I love the town of Regensburg, Germany. This is such a beautiful little town, great shopping, great cafes. Uh, you may have heard of this little town. This is actually where Oscar Schindler lived. Him and his wife, Emily, uh, lived here for a short time. Um, and he, of course, was the one that saved so many Jewish people. And when he defected to Argentina, he actually left all the trunks there with all his notes of the people that he helped, which was over 1,100 Jews. And that's kind of how Steven Spielberg, you know, found out about uh, him. And then we have, of course, the great movie Schindler's List. So I love that little town. You got to make sure you go over and see Oscar Schindler's apartment. Now, our Grand European tour is kind of a combination of the first two. So you've already paid the price to get over here uh, on the airfare. So if you have the time, I highly recommend doing our 15-day tour because this is going to take in the Rhone or the Rhine. It's going to take in the Maine, which they pronounce it mine, and then of course the Danube. So you really do get a lot with that tour. And again, you've already paid to get over here, you know, by by air. So if you've got the time, I highly recommend our Grand European tour. It's one of our very best sellers. Now, I also want to mention to you that we have, I mean, we have amazing wines on our ships and we stop in great ports to see the beautiful vineyards, especially, gosh, the vineyard in Portugal, the River of Gold trip, our 10-day trip, 
It goes through the Douro River Valley. It's the world's oldest wine region. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I have a group that's on Bordeaux to Bordeaux right now through France. So if you love wine, we are definitely your company. We have some amazing wine uh, tours that you can talk to John and his staff about at Moa Vacations. We also, of course, have great uh, history tours, and I'm really partial to our Paris and Heart of Normandy. This is our eight-day trip, round-trip Paris, and we do spend a day up in Normandy. Now, this is a longer day. It's usually about a 12-hour day. We go up to Normandy, and that's done by motor coach. It's about two hours from our port, and you have this great uh, historian on the motor coach with you explaining to you factually what happened with World War II, uh, describing the beaches, Omaha Beach, Oahu Beach, and Normandy, of course. And of course, then you'll learn a little bit about uh, the cemeteries and, you know, just what, what happened here, of course. And uh, we do have a great lunch here in Normandy that's actually included, since you're not going to be on our ship, we'll be including lunch today. And then you get back just a little bit before dinner, about 6.30 or 7 o'clock. So it's a wonderful day in Normandy. It's a lot of great history. I highly recommend that tour. We also have a lot of great World War II history on our Grand European tour, which is our that 15-day tour I talked about. Um, so we actually go through the Budapest Castle Hill, Hill District, which is just beautiful. So if you love history, you'll love either one of these for sure. Now I'd like to kind of just point out a few <clears throat> features of our beautiful Viking longships. Our longships, again, are 95 staterooms and 190 guests. So very, very small. And I just love that because by the second day, they're bringing you your favorite drink. They're, you know, calling you by name. The staff is just incredible. The customer service is definitely what we're really known for. Uh, we do use energy efficient hybrid engines on all of our ships. We do have, of course, the veranda, the balcony cabins. We also have French balconies, which doesn't have the outside platform, but it does have the beautiful windows that open so you feel like you're outside. Um, on the second deck, we actually have our restaurant, the main restaurant. And then you can see on the bow or the front of the ship, we have our Aquavit Terrace restaurant. And that's a great restaurant to, to utilize, especially if it's a beautiful day outside. You might want to come out here and have breakfast. You can watch the sun come up because it's open air. Uh, we have like omelets and quiche and wonderful croissants from France. Um, just a great way to kind of start your day if you prefer to have something outside. On our third deck is where our lounge is included and our Viking bar. And we have all top shelf liquor. And of course, people love to venture up here right before dinner and kind of learn about the next day, what's going to be happening from the cruise director. And then our chef shows up about 10 minutes to seven, sharing the great menu that you're going to have at tonight's dinner. Our fourth deck has a great track that goes around the ship. We also have miniature golf up there. We have a sun deck, great place for you to come up and read a book. Uh, there's an organic herb garden that our chefs actually do use in all their recipes. So it's kind of a neat, uh, neat little area there on top. We do have, uh, we feature two Explorer Suites on the back of our ship. If you're interested in getting a quote or price on that, they have walk around balconies, which are beautiful. I've been in a, I've never stayed in one, but I actually got to uh, see them and they're really pretty because they do have the separated uh, rooms with the bedroom and the um, the uh, living room and of course your bathroom. So highly recommend the Explorer Suites or at least getting a price on one. So let's go on and talk a little bit about uh, how we get on and off the ship. This is our main uh, area, deck two, the atrium area where we walk on and off the ship. We don't do any tendering because we don't need to. We literally uh, park our beautiful ship right at, there at the port and you just walk off the ship. So it's really fabulous. We also have a concierge front desk area here, a little Viking store area. Uh, we do have elevators between decks two, three, and four. 
uh, but deck one does not have elevators. So you would have about 10 steps to go down to uh, the first deck. So that's just something good to remember in case you wanna uh, think about that. If you've had any kind of recent surgeries or anything like that, I would highly recommend being on deck two or three if you need an elevator. This is our beautiful main restaurant. We have no reservations required. And again, uh, it's just a great place to come and have uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And now dinner is uh, something that we do require a little bit of a dress code, no shorts and no blue jeans, but you do not need suit jackets or ties or anything like that. I tell kind of the men, maybe just like a polo shirt and a nice pair of khaki pants or what have you. Um, now, during the day, we know that you might be, you know, going out on the excursions or you might be doing our e-bike tour through the Black Forest of Germany. So if you want to wear shorts to lunch and breakfast, that's just perfectly fine. We do have um, different tops, of course, four to eight people at one uh, table. So it's a great way to get to know some of the guests that are on the ship. And it's amazing how many great friends, as John was saying, that you will meet on these ships. And you'll, I'm like friends for life for a lot of people I've met like 10 years ago. So it's really a great opportunity to, to learn about other folks. This is our Viking Lounge and Viking Bar on deck three. We do have all top shelf liquor. If you are at Floor Society member with us where you've traveled at least one other time with us. We do have a special night that you'll have an invitation on your, your bed. Um, one night we will actually have unlimited appetizers and uh, drinks for you to come and hang out with our staff. It's kind of a special night just to say thank you for being a repeat guest. If you prefer to be able to just have a, a drink anytime you want, not have to worry about it, I highly recommend talking to John and his staff about our Silver Spirit package. It runs about $28 a day. If one person in the room buys it, the other person has to buy it as well. But I just think it's a great way to experience a lot of great top shelf liquors while you're traveling with us. One of my favorite drinks is the strawberry mojitos that they make here on the ship. And so I highly recommend that. Otherwise, you could just have the uh, provided uh, regional wines and different wines that we have for lunch and dinner. And then, of course, we do have beer as well that's included in all of your meals. Now, the Aquavit Terrace is one of my favorite places to hang out. And a lot of people don't realize and don't remember that it's here. But again, it's that little area on the front of the shop that's so beautiful. And if you've got a great day and it's really nice outside, this is a great place to start your morning and having coffee and juice and maybe a muffin or an omelet. So don't forget about this cute little area. There's no reservations required and no dress code. Now I want to feature a little bit of information about our Viking Mississippi. This is our only chartered ship, uh, the only one that we don't actually own at Viking. It's beautiful, brand spanking new. It's a modern ship holding 386 guests. And it's just a great way to see our beautiful Mississippi. I live in the St. Louis area, so I will say, uh, you know, I'm down by the Mississippi quite often, down by the Arch, especially when I have family or friends come in from out of town, I'm always taking them down there. What I love is we have different itineraries here. Um, we have an itinerary from St. Paul um, going down to New Orleans. That's our 15-day tour. You've got New Orleans to Memphis. We've got uh, round trip New Orleans. So you have a little bit of variety of different itineraries you can do. We were completely sold out this year for this when it started a few weeks ago. And of course it's doing our holiday tours this holiday season. And then it will continue uh, next uh, spring, of course, going up and down the Mississippi as well. So if you are interested, don't wait too long. This one is selling out quite fast. We've already got, I think, 75% uh, fullness on 2023 bookings for next year. And of course, anytime that you're in 
any of these great courts, we're going to be going and seeing some amazing sites. One of the things that people love is the John Deere factory in Iowa. And I have Iowa as my territory. So it's kind of neat. I get to see the ship every now and then when it's on the Mississippi and I'm working in Iowa. <laughs> of course, in Memphis, you've got great sites like Beale Street and great entertainment. Um, you know, we'll have jazz music on, blues music. Um, so it's just a great way to enjoy the Mississippi and a chance to stay close to home. So join us on the Mississippi. I think it's just a wonderful cruise and it's a lot different than the paddle boats. This again is a very modern new ship. We were just voted this last year, number one for ocean and uh, number one for rivers by Condé Nast Travel Magazine and Travel Leisure Magazine. So we're just very proud of those honors. That's uh, very I don't know if anybody's ever gotten both those honors in the same year. So Viking feels very blessed that we have such great customer service from our stewards and cabin staffs and uh, wait staff that we've gotten that great honor. Now, again, I was telling you ocean cruises came a little bit later than our river cruises. So we are really stepping it up with our ocean cruises. These are amazing. 930 guests, absolutely wonderful places to travel. It is definitely a small ship class and uh, it has so many things to offer. So if you think maybe river cruising is a little too quiet for you and you want something, you know, on the ocean, then this is definitely something to look at. We do have a beautiful spa here on our gorgeous ships. Uh, we do have fitness center, hair salon. We do have alternative restaurants. Again, no charge to use any of our specialty restaurants. You just need a reservation. We have our main restaurant. We also have the Aqua View Terrace again, but although it's on the front of the river cruises, it's on the back for our ocean. We also have um, our great pools. We have a pool in the middle of the ship, and then we have an infinity pool on the back of the ship. I think we're getting a little static here. Let's see. Okay, I think I've got everybody muted now. <clears throat> we also have our great uh, lounges, our winter garden lounge. We have amazing explorer lounges. So you've got lots of places that you can hang out with us it's on our ocean. Oh, Richard, could you mute? Could you mute yourself there? I think we're getting some background noise, maybe. Everybody can mute themselves. I, I, there we go. Okay. So on deck three, when we're on our ocean cruises, this is where we get on and off the ship. It's absolutely incredible experience. Um, it's so easy to get on and off our ships and people love that. They love just being able to go right into a port. And uh, again, you'll see a lot of the creams and tans and just beautiful um, tranquil colors. Uh, sometimes people say, oh, you have Scandinavian designers. These are just amazing embroidery work on the back of your chairs and things like that. And I've had People say, oh, is it like Ikea? And I'm like, no, I can afford Ikea. <laughs> it's really high in Scandinavian designs and decor. So it's really beautiful. All of our ships are just very eloquent. Now, when you're on our Viking Sky, this is a beautiful ship that takes us up into our Scandinavian ports. We uh, have our, our beautiful Finland furs uh, featured on this particular routing. And it's just a great place to hang out Again, this is one of the lounges that we offer on that cruise. I love our Explorer lounges. Sometimes in the afternoon, they'll come in with high tea, finger sandwiches and cookies. You know, one thing about us is you never will go hungry. We have lots and lots of great food. And if you are hungry, we always have that great tea and coffee uh, station area that has wonderful uh, scones and cookies and things all day long. This is our winter garden uh, lounge. I just love this Explorer lounge. I think it's so beautiful. The gorgeous uh, kind of muted uh, orange colors. Our infinity pool is on the back of the ship. It literally looks like you're going to go right into the ocean, doesn't it? It has a beautiful sun deck right next to it. So it's a great place to hang out. And we do have, again, two pools, one in the middle with a retractable dome. And then we have this infinity pool on the back of the ship. 
this is our beautiful spa and of course you can walk in here and utilize anything uh, no charge to go in and use the sauna or the pools if you get facial or massage then of course you would pay for that service but everything else is you know here for you to enjoy one of the things that people love is our snow grotto this is fantastic because this is kind of giving you a taste of the scandinavian people throw yourself in the snow <clears throat> and then you go sit in a sauna and it's just great for your pores so i highly recommend it it's really fun our main restaurant on our ocean, again, no reservations required for the main restaurant. And um, you can always do our specialty restaurants. And you just have to do the reservation for those. But again, uh, no upcharge to use any of our specialty restaurants. I do like to point out a few wonderful features of our bathroom. Rooms. We have heated floors. They're fantastic. I, I want heated floors in my bathroom at home now. <laughs> and then we have our fogless mirrors, which are fantastic. And our some of our state rooms do have the wonderful warming towel racks, which are fantastic too. And let me tell you, our stewards are amazing. They're going to come in your room twice a day, once when you're at breakfast or out on your excursion. And then, of course, we do have them come in when you're at dinner and they're replaced always the wash towels, the hand towels, the bath towels, making sure your trash is uh, taking out. And of course, they're always making your bed. In fact, I can remember I was getting up like at one in the morning one night and to go to the bathroom. This is actually the one that has the outdoor platform with two chairs and a table. Um, if you are traveling with a friend, we can split the bed in two. I've done that a few times when I've traveled with friends. We always have a desk in the room, a safe. You've also got your closet, your hair dryer. And did I mention that all of our rooms, uh, we always use 110 US outlets. So you never need an adapter, no matter where you're traveling with Viking. Now, if you are gonna be doing pre and post in hotels in Europe, then you would need an adapter. Uh, but on our ships, we use only the US uh, sockets. I just wanted to talk about a few of our really popular tours. I'm not going to go in depth, but I want to show them to you. This is our Alaska and Inside Passage. And this is Seward, Alaska down to Vancouver or Vancouver up to Seward. It's a great way to see Alaska. Of course, amazing whales here during the summertime. This is an 11-day trip with seven guided tours of featuring, of course, two countries, the U.S. and Canada. One of my favorite tours that we have is actually this iconic Mediterranean. I love this one. This is Barcelona, Spain, uh, going over to great ports in France. And then we end up in the beautiful country of Mon uh, Monaco with Monte Carlo. This is where Princess Grace is buried and where the beautiful yellow palace, they do the changing of the guard here. It's really something to see. And then we're off to Florence and Pisa, seeing the Leaning Tower and learning all about Florence, the beautiful leathers and cameos that they make here, and then down to Rome. I highly recommend doing pre and post on this because you could spend a couple days in Rome to see the Colosseum, the Sistine Chapel, the Vatican Museums. But this is an eight-day trip with five guided tours, and you're visiting four countries. Our next one is our Empire of Mediterranean. This is our Venice, Italy to Athens. It's a 10-day trip, so it's great for folks that are still working. Eight guided tours in five countries. We start in Venice and we go over to Slovenia, down to Croatia, which is one of my favorite countries. I love Dubrovnik. Of course, Dubrovnik is known for the medieval a uh, beautiful wall, and then they do show you some great sites where they filmed the game, uh, film the the uh, game Game of Thrones. I think that's the name of the show. I haven't watched it, but a lot of people like to see that. And then we're down to Greece, and we're going to Corfu. Oh my gosh, Corfu is such a beautiful island. I have a friend that lives there. And then we're down into Greece, uh, visiting beautiful island of Santorini, and then off to Athens to learn the history, of course, of Athens and the games. Istanbul to Athens would be a great cruise to do. Again, if you're working, it's an eight-day trip, six guided tours with two countries. 
going to Istanbul, Troy, Ephesus, seeing where Paul wrote some of his last works from the Bible, uh, down to Rhodes and Crete, and then up to Athens. So really a gorgeous tour. If you want to see a little bit of Turkey, this would be a great way to do it. And for those of you that have really got to catch up because you haven't traveled much and maybe you are just retiring, I highly recommend our world cruises. <clears throat> yes, they are um, $54,000 per person, but they do include 138 days with round trip business class airfare, 57 guided tours with 28 countries. So you're in four months, you're seeing a lot of countries, which is fantastic. Uh, that one that we have leaving next December is from Fort Lauderdale to London. And then we also have our beautiful L LA to London tour, January 9th, 2024. It's 121 days from 49,995 per person. Again, it's just a great way to catch up on traveling. If you haven't been able to do a lot because you've always worked, uh, this would be a great way to see a lot in a short period of time. These are our new expedition ships. I kind of look at them as more like yachts. Again, we have our Octonus and our Polaris. And these hold, um, you know, very small amount of people, about 300 guests. And we do have scientists that travel with us to Antarctica. And when we're in the summertime in the lakes, we have biologists that are from different universities that travel with us. And they're educating you on the great sites that you're going to see when you're in all of these places. So we fly into Buenos Aires, down to Ushuaia and get on the ship. And then we're going through the Drake Passage. And we are having some of the best success with people really enjoying that Drake Passage, not getting sick. Our ships are very, very stable. They have an amazing uh, way to get through this passage, which usually can be pretty rough. Uh, but a lot of people are saying that it's just been fantastic for them. So once we get to Antarctica, we do have lots of stops, Half Moon Island, Whalers Bay, Brown Bluff, Antarctica Peninsula. We do provide all of your outer gear. So your Heli Hansen outfit, your jacket, your pants, boots, that's all provided by us. So you don't have to worry about bringing that along. And then your jacket is a really nice expensive jacket and you get to keep that as a souvenir from us. So it's a, again, a great way to travel with us with not as many uh, outside clothes that you have to bring because we take care of it. And in our staterooms, we have a regular closet, but we also have a warming closet for all that outer gear. So it makes it nice for you and it's all nice and toasty. We do have a submarine, uh, Zodiacs, and then of course we have our special operated boats on board. So every day you're out doing these amazing expeditions with our staff learning about the three different types of penguins, like the Gen 2, the chin strap, and uh, getting great information on your 13 days with us. And then in the summertime, we will bring our uh, two ships, our expeditions up through the Atlantic, down the St. Lawrence Seaway and over to our Great Lakes. We have some amazing places we go here. Um, we, of course, visit some uh, areas like Toronto, over to Milwaukee, and it really depends on what you want to see. But we have Thunder Bay to Milwaukee, Niagara, and the Great Lakes. So these are really beautiful expeditions that we do again with biologists and uh, it's a great way to stay close to home and do something that's totally different because these lakes really got a lot to offer. You learn a lot about the fossils and minerals and the rocks that they have uh, in these areas. Of course, the different types of fish and it depends on the temperature of the lake. So there's so much to learn on these. I'm looking forward to doing this one of these days. And I just want to say thank you so much on behalf of John and, of course, his team. We want to say thank you for joining us today. If you do book something in the next two weeks, we will be offering you $100 shipboard credit per person to, as a thank you. And if you have a friend, we'll give that to them as well. 
it's just a way for us to say, come aboard, come see what we're all about, see how wonderful our company really is. I mean, to get two distinguished honors with Travel Leisure and Condé Nast Travel Magazine, I know you'll lo look at um, our cruising as probably the best in the industry. So I wanna invite John on again, uh, just for one last few words here. And John, I really, again, appreciate you and Moa Vacations uh, working with us. Uh, we do have um, a couple of group tours. Can I talk about those real quick, John? Absolutely. So we, okay, super. Well, we do have a great eight-day Rhine getaway planned for September 22nd to the 29th. And that's from Amsterdam to Basel, Switzerland. It's one of those bread and butter tours I told you that we're so famous for. And that's from $31.74 per person. And then we have an eight-day group departure for the Romantic uh, Rhine, which, which is uh, the Regensburg Budapest. And that one's scheduled for October 7th through the 14th, uh, same price. And then I love that John and I've got some space on this beautiful 15-day Grand European Budapest to uh, Amsterdam, August 30th to September 13th of 2023. And that one is a 5,374 from, from that price range per person, depending on the category of stateroom you would like to, to book. And again, we are going to be giving you $100 per person shipboard credit. And that's just a great way to maybe, you know, you might want to do an excursion on our e-bikes through the Black Forest, or you might want to go and um, do some shopping in the Viking store. <laughs> so anyway, we want to say thank you so much. And John, I'll turn it over uh, to you for some last thoughts. Well, first off, I think in the Q&A, uh, we've been answering as we go. And okay. I know Steve Matthews, who's one of our <laughs> top crews uh, and travel consultants, uh, has been on uh, and then Tracy's been answering questions as well. So okay, great. I think, I think Hi, between <laughs> I think between Steve and Tracy, they've gotten most of the questions answered up to this point. Um, I did want to uh, a couple of things. One thing you mentioned at the very beginning, I just wanted to make clear, uh, Sonia, when you said that you handled uh, Nebraska, Iowa, or, uh, what Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. Yes. Uh, is the fact that MOA Vacations is based in Overland Park, Kansas, which is a suburb of Kansas City. So with national accounts Ooh. such as ourselves, um, we work with a local rep, but uh, Sonia would be, I guess I would say, the uh, the Viking rep for MOA members all across the country because we're right. in her territory. So just to That's make right. it clear, yeah. So um, yeah, so no distinction there. Sonia's here to help MOA members from coast to coast. Um, right. Other than that, uh, I don't have my reading glasses on, which means I can't read. Um, <laughs> it looks as though, oh, it looks as though everything's answered. Uh, uh, so we will uh, get a copy of this out to everybody. There was a little glitch. I don't know if everybody heard it or yeah. just Sonia and I heard it because we were the presenters. Uh, mm -hmm. But for some reason or another, uh, the recording stopped in the middle for a minute or two, yeah. um, which means yeah, we're going to pardon me? It was about a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, rather than just uploading it to YouTube and then having like a part one and a part two, we're actually going to have to go to our videographer and get those two merged together. Yeah. Uh, so I know I originally said that we would probably have that video tomorrow morning. Uh, it may be tomorrow afternoon or over the weekend because we just want to make it one video. So we will get that uh, worked on. Um, just a reminder, uh, bring friends and family. Um, we have, we have the groups, we have obviously, you know, I'm not going to repeat everything Sonia went through, but we have the rivers, they have the oceans, they have the expeditions. Um, so MOA Vacations and Viking are here to help you, um, or any trips you'd like to take. And don't forget, we got that two week special offer, uh, and Sonia, just to verify that that applies to everything, correct? It applies to every single cruise that we do. So it's just a way for us to say thank you. And actually $100 per person um, yep. is really a lot when you don't have anything to pay for on our ships. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're giving them $200 for listening to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I want to say thank, 
I do yeah, want to so, say so, thank you to Tracy also, my colleague that was on answering questions. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, yeah, and I was going to make sure that uh, uh, you touched on those groups. It would apply to the groups as well. So yeah. uh, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. This is our last webinar for November. Um, we do have a couple coming up in December. Um, you'll receive an email notification of that. It'll also be in Military Officer Magazine. Um, so we look forward to seeing you again in the future. Um, and I want to thank uh, Sonia and Tracy uh, for helping us with the webinar today and taking time out of their day. And uh, Sonia, I'll turn it over to you for the last word. Well, again, we just want to say thank you to the MOA folks, and we want to see you travel with us, because I know when you do, we'll be your new favorite cruise company. It's definitely a wonderful experience with great food and great customer service, and please join us. Um, I've done several of these, and I can tell you from my experience, it's definitely one of the best in the cruise industry. Thanks again, and I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.